Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if y'all watch enough of my videos, you know I never start out with a yellow box, but it's gonna help us because we're gonna use a white color. I'm gonna grab the polygon tool and have a three-sided polygon and hold down the control button to make a perfect polygon, or perfect triangle, sorry. Then we've got nodes on these sides, so we wanna just grab that node and go to that point that node and go to that point. All we're trying to get is this part of the triangle right there and we've got it. And we can move all this other stuff and delete it. So we're gonna left click, right click. And I'm actually gonna flip it, flip it because I have, I find it easier to do it that way when I'm working on top of it. I'm gonna take a two point line and go from that node and just go straight up holding down the control button. I'm gonna take that one and go straight up holding down the control button. I am gonna lock my yellow box because as soon as I try this, it's gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab those two lines. I'm gonna open up the effects docker blend and I'm gonna blend, I need 20, so I'm gonna believe it, blend it 18 times. And that's the result I got. I've got these spaced out evenly. I'm gonna draw two point lines from this point outward. I find it's easier because you can find that node a lot easier than trying to go here and find that node sometime. So if you go outward, I just think it's easier because uh, you can, to me, I'm gonna go faster. And what I'm trying to do is just get these um, segments of line that kind of or um, tapered and come up to the, a point in the center or go outward from that point at the same variable, same distance, and pretty easy to do. And there, you'll find out soon why I made it yellow or why I started with yellow box. Because now we're going to use a smart fill tool and we're going to use white, which I never get to use. And we're gonna fill that every other one in with white. This is just gonna make it kind of stand out, kind of like an optical illusion. Then we're gonna grab the black and do every other one. Now, because of this is made up of smart fill and lines, we can select it all and right click your mouse, no line. Now we need to group these together, control G. I'm gonna control D and duplicate it. And when I get that two-sided arrow, I'm gonna go right there. Control G to group that together. You can see that the lines are actually still there, but they don't show up. You could have deleted them. Now we're gonna make a duplicate of this, control D, and move the center to there. We're gonna rotate it 120 degrees. Pretty cool effect. It almost looks like the center is going inward. I don't know if anybody would ever draw that, but it's a pretty neat effect. I almost think I'm gonna try it now with using one more and alternate the colors and see what happens. Kind of a fun project but you can see why it wouldn't look very good without the yellow background because of the white. If we take away the, well, we could, let's make it blue. And it just makes different standing, makes it different looking. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.